For me, I just love the tiny details, how it says so much, even for such a little thing. Hi, I'm Ellie Ang, and I'm the owner and creator of Danger in Design, and this is my pin collection. <laughs> I started collecting in 2016. I haven't made my own pins, but I really like them. I think because I love collecting things and I love collecting art and I think these are little pieces of art and I find joy and a lot of inspiration from different artists because all of these are well designed, they're well thought of, the colors are great and it's a great source of inspiration for me to do on my own stuff as well. Just collecting these and seeing my collection gives me joy. This pin collection is original art and travel board. It has 393 pins. This is where all the original art of different artists go and other boards. are. These are fan art boards. These are my own pins. <laughs> I think one of my first pins is this one, the seashell one. It's a little dusty now and dark. I don't remember what other first pins I had, but it's mixed up in here. I really like the design. That's really what attracted me, the art. Then I got, when I got one, I got more and then more <laughs> until this is the collection now. A lot of these, that's why I have 393, are traded pins. For example, these are from a trade. These are these are from a trade as well. And then I also have local artists here. These are from um, Camille from the Alton Creative. And then I traded it with them because we love trading pins. These are from Studio Hebe, Abacada Erica, also local artists. These are from Kara. I bought it from her. This is from Cassie Kicks. And then these are from Pin Nenderia. These are from Stacy from Sparkle Stories. So I have local and international. A lot of these I've traded with people. If you see like a group of pins that looks like they're from the same artist, these are traded from artist friends internationally as well. I traded this from Ella, Ella Lama. <laughs> these are hers. Some of the other collections such as these, these are Kickstarter. I funded them, they're by artists. They have a collection and I really like the collection so I would back their Kickstarter. Mostly traded pins. I think I traded more pins than I bought pins. So it's nice to have a lot of pins in my shop because then I could trade them. Joanna Behar is a French artist shop. Grey Muse, I think the name. Uh, I traded this with her. And then this, this is a cutting board. It's so cute. And this one opens to a little pencil. Pad. I also buy stuff from Travel. So like these pins. This is from Colorado, US. This is from Norway. This is from Norway as well. Finland, Denmark. This is from Prague, Iceland. This is Sweden. I got this from Taiwan. They have amazing pins in Taiwan. This is from Japan, so I put all my travel stuff here as well. These ones, both of these, because they can't fit in one, these are fan art pins. Some of them are original designs, some of them are from the actual place, like some Disney pins, like these are from Disney, the actual company. And then some are fan art. So like these Harry Potter pins are from artists. These are by local artists. These are amazing. A lot of Pokemon pins, a lot of Animal Crossing pins, but it couldn't fit anymore. Also, that's two fan art boards now, and they're just waiting to be filled. <laughs> What really inspired me to start my own pins are these amazing pins from different people. Even though I had very few pins before, it inspired me to create art because I saw even those tiny things are so well designed and I'm like, I want to do that too. So I made a lot of pins. I designed a lot of pins and for me, I just love the tiny details and then how it says so much even for such a little thing and I love wearing them. It's such cute accessories. That led me to making more than, at least more than 20 by now. I don't pick from my children, but <laughs> um, my very latest one, my post box spin, is definitely my current favorite child. <laughs> 
but I love all of them equally because for me, I can see how much I've changed, how, how I've grown in my design and my art from completely simple pins to really impossibly detailed pins. And I just love seeing the growth. If I had to pick one that I'm really super inspired by, it's this skull pin right here because I know how much pin making costs and every segment of this is a mold. The same shapes are definitely one mold, just different colors, but it's like six molds. That pin costs six molds and that's like how much mold, like maybe a hundred plus dollars per mold depends on how big it is. So I definitely have mad respect for the artist Liz Harry for making this pin. <laughs> I usually wear them three at a time, sometimes four on my clothes when I go out, but I don't always wear pins, only if I feel like it. So I wear them. I wear them all, except the big ones. The big ones, I don't know if I could wear them. What I usually do is make sure they're not in direct sunlight. Unfortunately, in the Philippines, it's very humid, so you can't avoid the metal from rusting, unfortunately, unless you keep all of them in separate plastic bags. And I don't want that because then I can't display it. What I do if I'm going to use it and it's a little bit tarnished or it has oxidized, I have this in my Instagram. I think Common Room posted it as well. I put a layer of toothpaste on top of the pin, um, let it sit for a bit, and then wipe it with a damp cloth, and then ta -da, it's shiny. And then you can wear it again. Usually, I only do it if I'm going to wear the pin, so I don't have to always apply toothpaste on it, because I don't know <laughs> what happens if you keep doing it. But that's what I do to clean them up again. Unfortunately, some pins, depends on the manufacturer, sometimes they really rust or they tarnish, and there's really no going back. So I just love them on the board. <laughs> I'm subscribed in Patreon pin clubs. I usually get three to four pins a month. Uh, it just looks a lot when I post it in my Instagram because I wait for my mail to stock up in my PO box before I go grab it. So it looks like I have a lot of pins in a month, but no, it's a span of different months. So maybe like three to four pins because of the pin club. So if I do buy pins, sometimes it's more than that, but it's never a lot. This is honest. Yeah, every month is three to four pins on average. I don't know how much these are anymore if I don't include the traded pins if we count $10 per pin I'm not saying that's the total amount because a lot of these are traded but it could be there on average 10 to $12 per pin on international pins but I can't tell you I don't remember <laughs> When I collect pins, it's mostly if I like how it looks like. Like, it's super different. Like, these are very goth. But then I got other rainbow stuff. <laughs> and for me, it's whatever speaks to me. It's really just about if I like the design or not. Thank you for coming and letting me show you my pin collection. And hopefully next time, this is going to be all 1,000. <laughs> I hope to see your collections in the comments or if you have any art, been artists you want to share, go put them in the comments and thank you. Bye.